the International Wolf Center in Ely offers visitors an immersion into the lives of gray wolves and the researchers who follow them. More than 40,000 people from around the world enter the Wolf Center every year to better understand the most misunderstood carnivore in North America. Having the International Wolf Center be located in the heart of wolf country was really kind of the main reason for having it here because it's, it's surrounded by wolves and, and those ambassadors help us to teach about the wolves that we have in our own area. People have a fear of wolves and it's really that wolves have a strong fear of people. And most people I don't think realize that, that most wolves, their natural instinct is to run. The Discover Wolves exhibit helps people get past their fears to view wolves from the eyes of research. You can um, watch video that was actually taken inside of a wolf den in Voyagers National Park so you can see wolf pup development. You can also learn about how far wolves travel. They're amazing dispersers. There is a video that was taken from researchers that were up in the airplane um, flying around in the area of Ely and tracking wolves that are collared in the Superior National Forest. We also have a field exam wolf so you can try your hand at what happens when wolves are immobilized. Live wolves at the center are ambassadors to the wild who help people learn about gray wolf subspecies. We have four ambassador wolves in our pack right now and they were captive born and they live with us for their entire life. The two youngest are Axel and Grayson, they are our arctic wolves and so in the wild they would be found in the arctic. And then we have Bolts and he is the one that is about to be eight and he is a great plains subspecies and that subspecies is found primarily in our area which is Minnesota as well as Wisconsin and Michigan. And Denali is the oldest in that exhibit pack at 12 and he he is a northwestern subspecies, so in the wild he would normally be found in the Rocky Mountain area, um, Yellowstone National Park, parts of Canada. Right now we have all males, and this spring we should be adding a female to the mix. The International Wolf Center was founded by wildlife scientist Dave Meech, one of the top wolf experts in the world, who started researching northeast Minnesota wolves in the late 1960s. It got quite a bit of publicity. It was the only wolf project going on, certainly in Minnesota. And, um, and so people got interested in um, things like looking for wolf tracks, following wolves around, um, looking for kills. And um, it, it was clear that we were doing that. And so a lot of people would ask if they could join us or could you take us out and show us a kill? Could you go out and howl to, to the wolves with us? Dave and his crew tried to accommodate organizations and school groups, but they were busy conducting research. So Dave started outlining plans for an educational facility. In the early 80s, the Science Museum of Minnesota came to me and um, wanted to build a, a wolf exhibit. They had the funding, actually, and they wanted the ideas. Dave gave the Science Museum his ideas for creating a wolves and humans exhibit. Which was very, um, very popular. It got sent around to six or eight different venues, American Museum of Natural History, National Geographic of Washington, that kind of thing. And then when the exhibit was done, when everybody was done with it, the museum asked if should we take it apart or any ideas for this. And I said, yeah, let's build a wolf center because now we have actually the guts of it. And so we use that as a lever to get funding uh, to start a wolf center. And it took a few years, seven or eight, but we got it and uh, opened the Wolf Center in 1993. Four years before the Wolf Center's grand opening, a temporary outdoor exhibit held wolf pups. I came here as a kid. Um, I, in 1989, I somehow managed to talk my entire family into driving to Ely, Minnesota and came um, and saw the wolves and had pictures of me and my dad standing next to the fence in front of the wolves. When I was a kid, I rented or I, I checked out every single book from the library that I possibly could about wolves, and most of them were written by Dave Meech. And I was reading them and I was taking pictures of the pictures just because I wanted so much to learn about wolves. Um, and coming here as a kid and now being able to work here, it's just really a full circle for me. And it's, it kind of boggles my mind almost every day that I write emails to Dave and I'm just like, hi, Dave. Um, and it was just this like, 
There was just no way in my head as a kid that I ever thought that that would happen. He's been able to study them all over the world and all over the country and helping to spread that message and be so passionate about education and science I think is really the legacy that will be left. Dave started the International Wolf Center really to um, just to, to start a place that was going to teach the world about wolves. Through Dave's vision and what we've been able to accomplish, we really have an international reach um, and are really able to do our mission well. Thank you.